Welcome to PT Dan's instructional videos. Today what we're going to be talking about are the three types of muscle contraction. The first stage of muscle contraction is the concentric phase. The concentric phase is when the muscle is contracting. So think about concentric, think about contracting. If the muscle is contracting, it's also considered the positive phase. So the muscle contracts, that's the positive phase. The muscle tissue contracts. As the muscle tissue contracts, such as my bicep, it is actually shortening. So when the muscle contracts, it shortens. When the muscle tissue shortens, the tendons that the muscle tissue is attached to are also attached to bones. So you've got the belly of your muscle tissue. On both sides of the muscle, you've got tendons. The tendons are attached to bones. So when the muscle tissue shortens, it pulls on the tendons and it pulls on the bones. It, muscle tissue doesn't pull two bones together. It pulls one bone towards another bone. So this is where the muscle tissue shortens. So when the muscle tissue shortens, the eccentric phase is now the complete opposite. So take the bicep curl for example, that's the positive phase of the concentric phase, the muscle tissue is shortened. Now as you go down, the muscle tissue lengthens. So it's the complete opposite to contracting, it will now lengthen. If a muscle tissue contracts, it will now release. Now, because we've spoke about it being the positive phase on the way up, it will be the negative phase on the way down. Let's have a look at some of the most major exercises. Shoulder press, on the way up, concentric. On the way down, eccentric. Bench press, on the way up, e concentric. On the way down, eccentric. Squat, on the way down, eccentric. On the way up, concentric. Lat pull down, on the way down, concentric. On the way up, eccentric. So we're talking about the positive phase where the muscle tissue shortens and the negative phase where muscle tissue lengthens. Concentric and eccentric muscle contractions. So that's the main difference between the two. If that's the case, then what's the isometric contraction? An isometric contraction is where your muscle tissue is under tension, but it's stationary, it's not moving. So this is where you'll come down on a shoulder press during the eccentric phase and you'll hold it. When you hold the weight, your muscle tissue is still under tension because the dumbbells are still in your hand, but your muscle tissue is not moving. When it's not moving, that's an eccentric, that's an isometric contraction. So what are isometric contractions useful? Well, there's a lot of research out there that shows you can dramatically increase in strength by just doing isometric contractions. It doesn't, muscle tissue doesn't actually have to move, but it must be under tension. Concentric, eccentric, isometric. What I strongly suggest you do is, uh, for a change in your workout, try and incorporate all three. So with a bicep curl, concentric, isometric, slowly eccentric. Shoulder press, eccentric, isometric, concentric. Now the timing is also very important as well. During the concentric phase, you don't need to do it very slowly. In fact, the more power and the more force you produce, the heavier the weight will become and more muscle fibers will become recruited. So it's very, very important to power through this motion. You don't want to get too fast, however, because speed creates momentum and the momentum will actually make the weight lighter. So what I strongly suggest is during the concentric phase, let's just do it for one second. During the eccentric phase, however, this is by far the most important phase. Think of your muscle tissue like Velcro. Velcro can stick together nice and easy, but it rips when you tear it apart. Putting your muscle tissue together when it shortens is the concentric phase. So when your muscle tissue shortens, it's like Velcro sticking towards each other. The eccentric phase is where the muscle tissue lengthens and it pulls away from each other. Your muscle fiber tears when it actually goes through the eccentric phase, just like Velcro does. And it creates little microscopic tears, which creates bleeding. And this is great because that's where your muscle tissue says, hey, I've been torn down, so what I need to do is adapt to my environment and make sure this doesn't happen again. Hmm. 
How do I do that? I know. I better repair bigger and stronger so that doesn't happen again. And your body will adapt to its environment and get bigger and bigger and stronger. So this is definitely a place where you want to promote as much as you possibly can. So let's go through four seconds here. Now all of a sudden, you've got a five second repetition. One second up, four seconds down, nice and slow. One second up, not four seconds down, nice and slow, taking five seconds per repetition. This theory falls in perfectly with our time under tension theory. Now, if you want to throw in an isometric contraction, I strongly suggest you hold it for about one to two seconds. That's all you need to dramatically enhance the power and strength. Now, what you can also do is um, add this in to a point where you are starting to get to failure, but you, the weight that you selected may have accidentally been a little bit too light. So going back to our time under tension theory, you started your training. One, two, three o'clock, four, five, six, you've hit uh, 30 seconds. Eight, you've hit 40 seconds. You're back to the 12, you're 60 seconds. Now all of a sudden, you think to yourself, this weight that I've selected might, might have been a little bit too light. I haven't reached failure between my 40 second and 70 second mark to increase hypertrophy. So what you can do is slow it down as much as possible and hold it there for three or four seconds. That will dramatically speed up your fatigue rate. And then when you push, you'll notice that you'll probably get stuck pretty fast. So throwing that in from time to time can be absolutely vital. But this is the main two phases that everybody must use. And this timing is your key to getting amazing results.